we had three HIV positive characters. Yeah, right. I didn't get the hunter on the show. We had Uncle Vic, who was Debbie's brother. Now, in the British show, she, well, she had a boarder. Right. Uh, the Debbie character, Michael's mother. It wasn't her brother who had AIDS and was a surviving AIDS. He was a boarder in her house. And he didn't have AIDS at all. And he didn't have AIDS just at all. He was a boarder. Well, I don't think anybody on the British show no. had, was HIV positive. No. But having written Early Frost, right. that was a reality. very important to us to keep that going. So Uncle Vic was an older man who had AIDS, thought he was going to die, maxed out all his credit cards, expecting never have to pay them off. And surprise, he lived. And that was a lot of debt. So we had him. And then we had Ben, the professor that Michael got involved with. Now, we both felt Debbie had every right to be upset because she had a brother who she nursed for years through serious illness, thought he was going to die, had to take care of him. She said, I don't want my son going through what my brother went through. I don't want to have to live through that again and see the same thing happen to my son. I felt it was very understandable that she would not encourage that relationship. I think it would be very fearful for her, not just for herself, but she'd also be incredibly protective of her son. But eventually, she did come around and accept it, and he became part of the family. And that, I thought, was a very honest story to tell for her, and a good story arc, and a good story. And the third character, who was HIV positive, was a hustler, the street a house 15, 16-year-old kid whose mother used him as a male prostitute to make money for her drugs or whatever she was doing. But she put him out there and made him work the streets to make money as a male hustler. And it turned out he was positive. And straight. And it also turned out that he wasn't gay at all. He was straight. And he Ben and Michael took him in as a foster. First they took him in off the street. Then they, he became their foster child. And at the end of the series, they adopted, adopted him. him. So that, I thought, was a really beautiful storyline, too. Um, so we had three generations of HIV characters, po HIV positive characters on our show, which was the continuation 15 years later. We kept yeah. it going and they survived. The character Michael in Early Frost you knew was going to die. There was no hope. These people are survivors. So. That had great personal meaning to us, to, to tell those HIV right. stories. And of course, there was one you know. story we told, which was a <clears throat> terrific story from the headlines. We got, once again, flack from everyone about it. There was a, stories about um, uh, young gay men who were known as the bug chasers. And they wanted to find a, there was this whole thing when AIDS came about where the so-called straight community was saying, this is how, what gay people were feeling. The straight community is telling us how to have sex. We have to put on um, uh, rubber, you know, um, condoms. We have to um, uh, only have sex this way, safe way. And they were, became very resentful of it. So the younger generation said, you know something? I don't want to worry about it anymore. I want to get it, and I don't have to worry about it. And uh, there are cocktails now. I can treat it like a disease like diabetes. And uh, they look for a, the gift giver, who is the person that they want to have sex with, unprotected sex, so that they can become uh, HIV positive. And uh, Ben had a student, we had a situation where Michael was becoming, was ascending in his career with his uh, rage, uh, the, the comic book character with Justin, and they were going to make a movie out of it. And Ben, who had written one novel and was a professor, wrote another novel that nobody wanted to do. So he felt very, very low and depressed and perfectly, perfect timing for someone to come into his life. And this young student who loved, read the manuscript of the book, loved his book and wanted to, um, Ben thought, have a relationship with him. He said, well, if you're, stops him and says, wait a minute, I think you've got the wrong impression. I'm in a relationship. He said, I don't want a relationship. I just want you to give me the gift so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And people went wild. And this was a truth from, from really. It was a very extreme 
strange story for the us too. I mean, we could hardly believe what we were. But it was reading. a terrific story, I thought. But we knew that was very weird. <laughs>